Once we have our events in our outbox table, we need a way to get them into our queue. In many systems, we would manually write the code to read the table, publish the events to the queue, and record which records have been processed. However, CockroachDB has a built-in feature that can aid us here, known as Change Data Capture, or CDC. CDC operates by monitoring a specific list of tables for any changes. If a change is detected in a watched table, then CDC can broadcast details about that change. There are two types of CDC. Core change feeds, which stream changes to a client until the underlying connection is closed or the change feed is cancelled. And enterprise change feeds, which stream changes to a configurable sync such as Kafka. They are persistent beyond the life of the connection. Core change feeds are available in all versions of CockroachDB. Enterprise change feeds are only available in enterprise license versions of the database. In this course, we will be focusing on the enterprise change feeds because they allow us to automatically push data into Kafka and they don't shut down if you lose the connection. Similar functionality can be implemented using core change feeds, but it will take more work on the part of the developer. In order to use enterprise change feeds, you first have to enable them. To do this, set the kv.rangefeed.enabled cluster setting to true. This requires administrator permissions in the database. Once you have enabled change feeds, you have to tell them which tables to monitor. You can do that using a create change feed statement as shown. Create change feed requires a table name, indicating which table to monitor, and a destination, in this case Kafka. However, change feeds aren't limited to Kafka. Other types of syncs, such as cloud storage, can be used instead. By default, the data is pushed in a JSON format, but it can also be configured to use Avro. Once you've created the change feed, you're essentially done. The feed will handle publishing the changes, tracking which changes have been completed, and ensuring they're retried if there is a failure.